Cardi B talks about having short nails, making her feel poor. Hold on, guys, because I'm getting that thing where you cut, 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 cut. What's that called? That stuff that you cut vegetables in, the cutting board? Yeah. I'm looking for the cutting board. <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Uh... Listen, yo, I've been watching everything. Let me tell you something, right? So when I was with my mom, right, last week, she said, she said, I don't know why I have the bad habit. I don't know why I have the bad habit that I always wash um, or before, be like when we get like a plate or a cup or anything. She was like, I don't know why we have the, I don't, I have the bad habit of every single time. I wash the dishes, this, this, and that, even though I know they're clean. And I was like, because we was f***ing, we were, because we lived in the f***ing Bronx. That's why, because the f***ing, got to make sure no f***ing roaches was having s*** on the plates in our cups. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what I do too. Like, it's like, I, look, look, I go straight directly to it. I go straight directly. I always got to clean everything because, you know, you know what I'm saying? With a cucumber challenge? No. No, thank you. Uh, what the f***? I'm not, I'm not domestic, okay? This, this is why, this is why God bless me. You know what I'm saying? This is why God bless me and made me rich and famous because he knows that I'm not domestic and I'm not meant to be in the kitchen. I was meant to hire chefs. Cause this this is not my lifestyle. Maria, can you cut the <laughs> <Not>. <laughs> You know what? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. There you go. I'm doing it. You know what? I'm just gonna eat it with the skin because I don't got no time to be Oh, oh. Girl. I do it, right? I do it. I don't got time for it. Wait, it. I don't got to peel the whole thing. I'm okay with it. Right? You know what I'm saying? You know, this is how the Mexicans do it. They do, like, they leave a little bit right there. A little bit. Yeah, you go. Oh, that's a lot of skin. Hold on. Hold on. Girl. Ooh. Do it the other way. I know you're not judging. you judging for it. Yeah, there you go. You're right. There we go. That's enough. Getting me tight. Be tight. There you go. I'm hungry, and my driver was supposed to be here, you know, 30 minutes ago. So, and I'm hungry. Hold on, y'all. So I have been. So my fans been. Star, stop. I'm doing it wrong, but guess what? Can you still eat it? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so anyways, I'm hungry. A lot of my fans... Oh, this is... Th this is thick. This one, this one is staying right there. This one is staying right there. All right, so um, a lot of my fans been asking me to go on live and everything. And you know... um. Let me see how this tastes. I never tasted this. It just looked good. Say. I'm f with it. I'm f with it. Hold on. Alright, so hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, before I. Uh, uh. So guys, right? So like, this is the thing I could do though. I could sure make a vinegar dressing. So um, 
My fans been asking me to go on live. Cardi, please go on live. We miss you. <laughs> but you know what? Um, you know, I have been by myself, so I haven't been like around people turning up. I was supposed to go turn up, you know, in New York with my family and whatever, but after I came from the Bahamas, but the the plants didn't, you know what I'm saying? Culture got sick and I was just I couldn't, like, I couldn't do nothing. So, I just couldn't. And then, you know, like, I don't I don't even be having topics to, to talk about on live. Like, what do you guys want me to talk about? Because when I talk about, I don't know what to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's why I haven't been getting on it. Hold on, let me see. Let me see what's given. It's giving everything and more. Mm. It's giving everything and more. Mm -hmm. mm. Wait, let me make sure I eat far from my shirt. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. So I'm gonna drink a mine, dude. I don't like. Let me tell you something. I am not a Sprite Mountain Dew person. I like straight up. I'm a straight up Pepsi, Coca Cola girl. I'm not really in. I, 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 sometimes I like my little grape orange sodas and. But I'm really into Pepsi or Coca-Cola or Dr. Pepper. But we're going to do Mountain Dew. Because, you know, this is what my husband got. So, guys, this was the best uh, Christmas gift I ever gotten. Because you guys know I like ice. Wait, hold on. Y'all see my ice maker? I don't know. I got a little ice maker and it's the best. Like, imagine having Chick-fil-A ice machine in your house. Hold on. All right, so. Hey, hold on. But yeah, they be asking how do people open their sodas with nails? Easy. People be trying to make it look so complicated. It's not complicated. The thing is that a lot of you is inexperienced. You see, I've been wearing with nails like this. Since I was motherfucking 20 years old. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I was making that real big money. So, I was like, eh. I've been wearing my nails like this all the time. So, I don't know how to do this. When I have short nails, I feel like. Poor. I feel regular. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like. Even when. Even when. Like, even when I used to fucking walk around with Bombini for them. Dresses that cost twenty dollars. My nail store it just show like oh, I got money. What do you mean? I've been going. I've been going to Jenny for motherfucking since I was motherfucking um twenty one. You do the math. I'm about to be 29. twenty nine. Twenty. Oh my god, I'm gonna be twenty nine. I'm, I'm a seasoned bitch. Season, you heard? 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, about nine years. And let me tell you something, right? Like I said, like, you know, when I used to go to Bombini in Florida, you know what I'm saying? I got my little $20 dress out with my Jordans, whatever. But my nail store, it took money, you heard? When you got nails like this, that means money, you heard? <laughs> Yeah, 
So yeah, that's why I like my long nails. It's just, it's just like, you know, it's just like, like it's like part of my, not even my personality, like just it's part of my life. When you have nails like this, when you have nails like this, right? I know not to play with you. I know not to give you no fifty dollars for your hands and motherfucking nails. Nigga, you gotta give me two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. And when you have long nails like this, a broke cannot approach you. You can't mother for my nails. Be sure to like comment and subscribe good all right so my mom when i was with my mom she said she was cursing me out because she said that I like to eat a lot of salt, salty things. Like, as you guys can see, I love it. I like to eat lemon with salt or lemon with seasoning salt by itself. Should I, you see? That's like you're going to, when you, when you 50 years old, then you're going to up your mother kidneys. You're going to up your stomach and your liver. Oh, a lot of people don't know. I have really bad kidneys too. I'm a very sick, you know what I'm saying? I don't got asthma. I got asthma. Yeah, I do got asthma, if y'all know. My kidneys, when I was young, I had kidney stones, but I only had it one time, you know what I'm saying? Jesus loved me. But you know, I, I always be scared that that happened to me. Uh, I got a fucked up knee. I don't know if it was from all that sh I did or uh, <laughs> All right. I don't know what it is. And oh yeah, and and I suffer from uh migraines. No, like I'm really diagnosed with, with migraines. So I'm really just sick and then and my mom just be thinking it's because I eat a lot of salt or something. A lot of salt. I like sour thing. Like if y'all could see my head is a little dented right here. No, no, no. It's dented a little bit. Because every month I get two right here and the in the back of my head and one in my thigh. Just for my migraines. But let me tell you something. My neurologist saved my life. Cause how I, how I used to be before. I couldn't, yo, my migraines used to mother and control my life. But I find the greatest doctor here in LA, that b the bomb. Mm. I mean, this cucumber, but I'm still f hungry. I'm in the mood for f Let me tell you something. I want to tell you something. And I mean this from the bottom of my fucking heart. I love LA, right? I love LA. It's a great place to raise your children. It's really one of the places for opportunity. Because everybody's looking for opportunity out here. However, the food sucks. I, I just cannot get used to it. So um, I just hope I could find today a really, really good steak to eat because they don't have none they don't i don't know i just cannot get hip to the food out here All right, so, finish. 
Where these people at? I'm hungry. Um, thank you everybody for joining my live. I see you guys soon. All right, guys, so um, thank you for joining my live. I'm about to go eat some dinner. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. I know, I know I have mental issues, but you guys love me anyways. Thanks for tuning in to 9MAG TV.